I'm Dan Riskin. Scientists have discovered a pillar of coral reef about as tall as the CN Tower off the coast of North Queensland, Australia, and it's part of the Great Barrier Reef. But this is the first time in more than a century that a coral island like this has been discovered. It's wedge-shaped, it's about a kilometer and a half long at its base, and then it comes up for half a kilometer to a top that is still about 40 meters below the surface of the water, and it wasn't known about until now. It was discovered on October 20th and then mapped thanks to a submarine named Sebastian, which is a great name for a crab and also a great name for a submarine. Now, corals are famously vulnerable to climate change. When there's a heat wave, they die in huge numbers, even if the heat wave is only an increase in water temperature of about one degree Celsius. And there were successive heat waves in 2016 and 2017 that absolutely did a number on the Great Barrier Reef, to the point that now if you look across the entire 200,000 square kilometers of it, populations of corals are currently about half of what they were 30 years ago. But the good news is, research shows that they can recover if they have low enough temperatures for successive years. They can grow back and recolonize the places that they've left. So corals, more than just about any other kind of animal on the planet, and yes, they are animals, not plants, really exemplify why we need climate action now. For ctvnews.ca, I'm Dan Riskin.